the week that we're looking back at our late and wonderful monarch, Her Majesty the Queen, which of course is coming up to a year since we tragically lost her, I was interested to know certain things, you know, as you can imagine by those that had literally met her at close quarters. For so many people, it doesn't matter whether you're a theatrical being presented to her, perhaps at a royal variety performance or a leading sportsman at a mega sporting event. You are lucky to have that particular moment. I was lucky enough recently to meet one of the gardeners that puts together the Chelsea Flower Show and he recently put together the garden for His Majesty the King. And he really was emotionally moved by the fact that His Majesty enjoyed the garden so much alongside Queen Camilla. And it was nice to know that in this particular harsh world at times, those moments can still move us. But I remember, as one can imagine, interviewing so many leading people uh, throughout politics. And I always ask them this question, what's it like? each week when you go for an audience with Her Majesty the Queen. Now, of course, British Prime Ministers, I don't know if you know this, but once a week have to have that meeting with the monarch to discuss everything that's going along. I mean, I don't know about you, but I would find that quite traumatising. Not necessarily meeting the monarch, but really trying to explain what a mess you're making of things on a weekly basis. But you see, as Boris Johnson pointed out to me, the former British Prime Minister, the beauty about Her Majesty the Queen was that she'd seen it all before. I mean, he was incredibly kind and effusive about her. He said he was incredibly nervous the very first time because he said, you really feel, you know, that you're going to make a mess of it, all that sort of stuff. And apparently he shared this message with her, which apparently he said, you know, he was worried that he'd missed it. He'd had a dream, he'd slept in, and suddenly he was rushing there. That could, of course, <laughs> apply to his resident look of mop top hair, that sort of stuff. But as he pointed out, when you sit down with her, it doesn't matter really what you're going through. She's seen it all before, right from the very start with, of course, some say her very favourite British Prime Minister, none other than Winston Churchill, all the way back in the 1950s. And as Boris pointed out to me, you came away, if you'd had a bit of a stressful day, a lot more relaxed. He said it wasn't particularly friendly because it was a business meeting. She had her thoughts, he had to explain his thoughts, and this really was a pattern that had gone on throughout her reign. Numerous Prime Ministers told me the same things, as did deputies, people like Tony Blair. Now, Tony Blair had a very tough time with Her Majesty the Queen, as one can imagine. But as he pointed out, once again, you came away, if not necessarily with a solution, but a different perspective. And it's interesting, isn't it? Because when we look back at the reign of Her Majesty the Queen, you do kind of think she lived through so many crises. And that's really, I think, what gave her the level head. And we should give respect to everybody, not just the Queen, but everybody that's lived through so much. Because quite frankly, they are the sage ones, the wise ones, the ones that can pass on the knowledge of what they remember, saw, and how they dealt with it. But back to the British Prime Ministers. As one very discreetly pointed out to me, quite literally as he met her to sit down, his pen gave way and he suddenly had, shall we say, an embarrassing leak inside his pocket. And the bottom line was he wasn't concerned about his suit, but whether this may go through to the royal chair. I can't tell you who it is, but what a funny, great story. <laughs> and nonetheless, one that shall remain locked away for secrets for many years to come. As ever, I'd love to know your thoughts about this particular story in remembering our late and wonderful monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.